Battlements is the 41st level in the advanced section of Marble Blast Gold, and its dynamic history is littered with controversy. In the early days of the game, the only known way to complete the level was with the default path. Traveling under the initial gate to the elevator, hopping over the wall, and then navigating the platforms to the end of the castle. It was hard to innovate with this path, and so players turned to a different mechanic entirely, the trap launch. Put simply, a trap launch occurs when a marble is wedged between a moving platform and another platform. This creates an incredible amount of horizontal or vertical speed. It was found that you could employ this trick on the elevator section, resulting in the first major breakthrough for the level. Israeli RD's 11.08 was the first documented run that used the trap launch, shattering the previous record of 17 seconds, a run which utilized the full path. This run opened the floodgates for more attempts on the same trap launch. At the same time, however, players began experimenting with alternate trap launches. The first of these attempts was with the logs at the beginning of the level. This was experimented with mainly in Marble Blast Ultra, the Xbox port of gold. This was accomplished by letting the trapdoor sink a bit, allowing the marble to fit between the log and the trapdoor. The log trap launch had modest success, but unfortunately that success was just confined to Ultra, as the marble is bigger than Gold's marble. This led to attempts to replicate this in Marble Blast Gold being put on hold, for the time being. In the meantime, the record in MVG was being traded between two players, Israeli RD and Zelno. Sub 10 seconds was achieved on January 11, 2009, leaving both players to wonder if that would be the last second barrier. However, on April 20th of that year, Zelno would break through, getting the first sub 9 with a time of 8.907. As you can tell by this MSN screenshot, both players were pretty excited for this record, and for a good reason. The record was seen as essentially perfect given the knowledge at the time. The first turn into the fans was speedy, with Zelna entering the elevator at 5.28 seconds. The trap launch itself was exceptional too, with the extra horizontal speed gained from it allowing Zelna to hit the far wall, converting the momentum towards the direction of the finish. Without this wall hit, some 9 would have been essentially impossible. Due to how fast the run was, Battlements didn't generate much buzz for a few years. In fact, by 2015, the run still stood. Six years later, where most of the other 100 levels in the game had been improved. During this time though, a new wave of players stepped in, and they decided to revisit the log trap launch. The first of these players was a runner named Egai, and his story of the level is incredibly interesting. He was first inspired to attempt the log trap launch in 2012 after watching a bloopers video where Zelna had been attempting something new with the log trap launch. Instead of being wedged in the middle, Zelna tried using the outside of the trapdoor to get launched by the log, and he had come frustratingly close to making it work. After seeing this, Egai grinded the same trap launch, spending over 200 hours on it over the course of a few years. Finally though, in 2016 he broke through, and in a pretty special way. The run starts out with the same jump pattern as Zelda's blooper, ensuring that Egai gets the log trap launch. The wall hit is also crucial, but it took more than just that to pull off the path in record time. Egai performs an edge hit on the platform outside of the finish, which allows him to get just enough height to land on the fan box, finishing with a staggering 8.28 seconds. The run is exceptional, sure, but was it perfect? Egai lost crucial time near the finish, as he hit the wall behind the finish pad, not entering its hitbox as soon as he could have. Still, he made waves in the community, with this being his first record in Marble Blast Gold. However, Runner Nature Freak saw this imperfection, and decided to attempt the trap launch himself. It wouldn't take long, as on February 13th of the next year, Nature Freak would be Egai's time, breaking yet another second barrier with a time of 7.980. The run's smooth finish helped catapult the run past Egai's, once again leaving the level dormant. Some, however, speculated that there was a different trap launch location that could be much, much faster. That location was the gate right after the moving logs. It was thought that given perfect timing, a trap launch from the gate lowering could give enough speed and height to propel the marble directly to the finish. Many thought that the trap launch was just hypothetical, but one player set out to prove them wrong. It took them all of two months, but soon they'd emerge with a new record. And then another. Yes, 3.679. This shattered the previous record from before that day, cutting the time in half. The run seemed too good to be true. Too perfect. And well, that would be found out. When trying to play back the recording, all other players couldn't get the run to finish. The reason has to do with how the game stores recordings of runs. A .rec file, or rec, catalogs each individual input. Playing back the recording of the game actually recreates all the inputs and variables in a given level. While desynchronizations happen from time to time, what happened here was somewhat different. Even on the player's own computer, the run would vary in timing, and eventually, the run was rejected from the leaderboards. 
It wouldn't be found out until 2019 that the run was actually cheated. The runner in question used Colmesh to make a ramp from the gate. Colmesh is essentially an invisible structure that has a collision box, so it wasn't able to be seen. However, due to the previously mentioned quirk with Rex, this didn't even matter, as all attempts to play the recording failed due to players running them not having the Colmesh in the level. As much of a bummer as this discovery was, it did spark some interest in the gate trap launch once more. Zelna once again stepped up to the challenge, this time live streaming his sessions. He had some incredibly close calls, but none were closer than one attempt he had early into his grind. Okay, what the fuck was that? Did you guys see that? His marble just barely scraped by the finish sign, which was too high to be registered as finishing the level. Zelna had many similar close calls, but eventually he conceded. For now, the gate trap launch seemed infeasible. However, that wasn't all for the level. Zelna came back to find a tweak to the old elevator path. But letting one of the trap doors come down and then restarting the level, Zelna was able to use that trigger trap door to do an edge hit, allowing him to hop over the fan box to reach the elevator faster. This allowed Zelna to retake the record with a time of 7.961 on March 31st of 2020, almost four years since he last held the record. Over the course of the next two months, Zelna would whittle down the level, leaving it with a time of 7.518 on May 12th of that year. And that's where the record stands today. From here, it can be asked how a player could improve the level, and it seems like the only answer would be with the gate trap launch. Recently, a notable taster named Dom was able to mess around with the gate trap launch, recording a time of 3.466. Instead of a direct launch to the finish, this involves a highly improbable sequence of wall hits. However, that seems like the only way that this level can be broken. For now, that'll be yet another hypothetical. Thanks for watching. If you stuck around for this long, a like would be very appreciated. Take care.